All right, we're going to go to chapter 17, um, the eye and the ear. So language of medicine, chapter 17. Here we go. We're going to identify locations and functions of the major parts of the eye and the ear. We're going to name the combining forms, prefixes, and suffixes most commonly used to describe these organs. We're going to describe the abnormal conditions that may affect the eye and the ear. Identify clinical procedures that pertain to ophthalmology and otology. Apply your knowledge to understanding medical terms in their proper context, such as medical reports and records. I mean, at the end of the day, why are you learning all this medical terminology so that if you read it in the chart, you're like, okay, I know what that means, and you can have the appropriate treatment. So let's do a little introduction. Light and sound applied to sense organs of the eye and ear activate receptors that send signals to the appropriate brain regions in the cortex where they are translated into images and sounds. So you get the stimulus, whether you're seeing something or hearing something, then there's special receptors in the cells in the eye and the ear. Then they get excited and the nerve fibers say, okay, let me carry the impulses to the brain. And the brain says, okay, I'm either hearing a certain word or I'm seeing a certain thing. That's the bottom line. Now, obviously it's more complicated than when you take anatomy and physiology, you'll go into all the steps. But for now, I mean, that's a pretty basic understanding of how the eye and the ear work. Here's the eye, the eyelid, the iris, the pupil, and the sclera. The sclera is the white part. The pupil is what uh, dilates and constricts, so opens and closes. That's an opening. The iris is your colored part. So if you have brown eyes, blue eyes, green eyes, that's the iris. And the eyelid is there to protect you. Eyebrows are there to protect the sweat from going into your eyes. If you look at the eye here, again, the path of light, uh, it's not really an anatomy class, so I, I just need to give you a brief introduction of the different layers. Um, Here's the cornea, the lens, the pupil. Uh, you have an anterior chamber. The iris is the colored part. The ciliary body uh, attaches the suspensory ligaments that will shape the lens. Here's a choroid, which is a layer. Sclera, which is the white layer. The retina is another layer that houses rods and cones, which will help you see black and white in color. And then you have an optic nerve right here. Now again, we just went over all these parts, uh, uh, pupil, conjunctiva, cornea, sclera, choroid, iris, ciliary body, lens, the fundus, anterior chamber, aqueous, vitreous, chamber and humor, retina, optic nerve, optic disc, uh, macula, fovea centralis. Obviously, you don't have to uh, uh, identify where these are on an image because that's not the point of this class. The point of this class is just to make sure you can put prefixes and suffixes together and kind of have a general idea of the eye. So visual pathways from the retina to the cortex. Uh, really, if you look at it, your right eye Look at what it can see, and then it follows these optic nerves, and then it's actually interpreted into the left visual cortex. The left eye takes images from the left and right visual fields, and then goes into the right visual. You actually see upside down, and then the brain puts everything together and makes it right side up. It's actually a very complicated uh, uh, way that you see. We obviously take it for granted, but there's... Uh, quite a bit involved in just being able to see a simple uh, uh, PowerPoint presentation, right? So again, uh, nerves are in the peripherally, and then when it goes into the brain, it becomes a track. So that's just a play on words. Where it crosses is the optic chiasma right here. Okay, and there's the thalamus, which is like a relay center for all the information. What's the soft jelly-like material behind the lens in the vitreous chamber that helps maintain the shape of the eyeball? That would be the vitreous humor. Aqueous humor is anterior to the lens, and vitreous humor is posterior to the lens. All right, accommodation, anterior chamber, aqueous humor. Accommodation is the normal adjustment of the eye to focus on objects from near to, from far to near. The anterior chamber is the area behind the cornea and in front of the lens and iris. 
the aqueous humor fluid produced by the ciliary body and found in the anterior chamber biconvex choroid and ciliary body biconvex means consisting of two surfaces that are rounded elevated and curved evenly lens of the eye is biconvex the choroid is a middle vascular layer uh, between the retina and the sclera the ciliary body is the structure surrounding the lens that connects the choroid and iris controls the shape of the lens and secretes aqueous humor um, cone conjunctiva and cornea cone is a photoreceptor cell in the retina that transforms light energy into a nerve impulse responsible for color so i just remember cc so cone and color uh, conjunctiva is a delicate membrane that lines the undersurface of the eyelids and covers anterior eyeball so conjunctivitis which is pink eye basically is when you get infection of that conjunctiva uh, cornea a uh, fibrous transplant uh, layer of clear tissue that extends over the anterior portion of the eyeball. So where you put your contact lenses is where you put as the cornea. Uh, fovea centralis, fundus of the eye and iris. So fovea centralis, tiny depression in the retina that is the region of the clearest vision. The fundus is the posterior inner part of the eye. You have a fundus on the stomach. Uh, the uterus also has a fundus, so it's a region. Uh, iris pigmented layer that opens and closes to allow more or less light in the eye. Again, that's your brown eyes, green eyes, hazel eyes. Lens macula optic chiasma. Um, the lens is the transparent biconvex body behind the pupil of the eye. Macula, yellowish region of, on the retina, lateral and slightly below the optic disc. And the optic chiasma is the point at which the optic nerve fibers cross in the brain. Optic disc, optic nerve, the pupil. Optic disc is the region of the back of the eye where the optic nerve meets the retina. That's your blind spot. There's no receptors there. Optic nerve is the cranial nerve carrying impulses from the retina to the brain. Pupil, central opening of the eye surrounded by the iris through which light pa rays pass. Refraction, retina, and a rod. Refraction means bending of light rays by the cornea, lens, and fluids of the eye to bring the rays into the focus on the retina. Retina is light-sensitive, nerve cell layer of the eye containing photoreceptor cells. If you ever uh, went bungee jumping, uh, one of the uh, number one causes of a retina detachment is bungee jumping. You can see the, the force that it can put on your eyes, and that sudden jerk back can cause a retinal detachment, so be careful. Uh, the rod is a photoreceptor cell of retina essential for vision in dim light and for peripheral vision. Sclera, thalamus, vitreous humor. Uh, sclera is a tough white outer coat of the eyeball. Thalamus is the relay center of the brain. And vitreous humor, soft jelly-like material behind the lens in the vitreous chamber. So now let's put it together. Okay, so let's look at the aqueo water. That's so aqueous humor is a watery fluid that circulates through the posterior and anterior chambers of the eye. Uh, blepar eyelid, so blepharitis would be inflammation of the eyelid. Conjunctiva, or conjunctiva, uh, again conjunctivitis is inflammation of the conjunctiva, pink eye. Uh, core is pupil, so anis chorea where the pupils are unequal size. So anisocoria, uh, corneal ulcer, uh, defect in the surface of the cornea, uh, psych is ciliary body, so cycloplegic, pertaining to paralysis of the ciliary muscle, um, and then you can't accommodate to certain things. Okay. Uh, Dacker, uh, tears, tear duct, so dacroadenitis, inflammation of the lacrimal tear gland, uh, dacroadenitis. Iris, okay. Iritis, inflammation of the iris. Iritic is pertaining to the iris. Iridectomy would be removal of the iris. 
Uh, Karat is cornea, so keratitis, inflammation of the cornea. Lacra, lacrimal, pertaining to tears, lacrimal. Lacrimation is the process of forming tears. Uh, ocula is eye, so intraocular, pertaining to within the eye. Ophthal, so eye, ophthalmologist, one who specializes in the study of the eye. Opt eye vision, so ophthalmic, pertaining to the eye. Ophthaloplegia, paralysis of the eye muscles. Palibro is an eyelid, uh, so palipral, pertaining to the eyelid. Uh, Pepal is an optic disc, so papilledema would be swelling of the optic disc. Faco emulsification, right? Pock, <laughs> lens of the eye. Paco emulsification, technique of cataract extraction using high frequency ultrasonic vibrations to remove the clouded lens. Again, Pock, lens of the eye. A Pachia, absence of the lens of the eye. A pupil, <laughs> pupil, pupil. Pupillary, pertaining to the pupil. Uh, retina, retina. Retinitis, inflammation of the retina. Uh, diabetic retinopathy, a disease of the retina associated with diabetes. Sclera, white of the, so cornea scleral, pertaining to the cornea and scleral layers of the eye. Scleritis, again, inflammation of the sclera. You can see the itis brothers. <laughs> uh, we use that a lot in medical terminology. So, uh, you really want to know itis, inflammation. Uvia. Uh, uvitis, inflammation of the uvea, vascular layer of the eye. Vitreous humor, uh, clear watery liquid filling the jelly-like mass. Vitreous body that fills the cavity of the eyeball. Uh, ambulo, uh, so ambulopia, dullness of vision can be caused by poor nutrition, trauma to the eye, or suppression of vision in one eye to avoid diplopia. Diplopia, now that would be double vision. How about glock? Glaucoma is disease of the eye marked by increased intraocular pressure. My, smaller, less. Meiosis, uh, condition of contraction of the pupils. Mydro, wide and large. So, mydriasis, condition of enlargement of the pupils. So, meiosis is contraction. Mydriasis is enlargement. And nicto is night. So, nyctalopia, condition of night blindness. Photolight, uh, photophobia, condition of sensitivity to light. Uh, presby, uh, old age, so you've heard of the Presbyterian Church, right? So uh, presby, uh, presbyopia would be condition of defective vision with advancing age. Uh, scoto is darkness, so scotoma, area of depressed vision surrounded by area of normal vision, so blind spot. And zero is dry, so xerothalmia is condition of dry eyes. Opia vision, opsia vision, and tropia would be to turn. So hyperopia would be farsightedness. Hemianopsia, condition of absence of vision in half of the visual field. Esotropia, condition in which the eyes turn inward. Which term means inflammation of the eyelid? That's blepharitis. What about astigmatism? Defective curvature of the cornea or lens of the eye. Hyperopia, farsightedness. Myopia, nearsightedness. Presbyopia, impairment of vision due to old age, reducing lens accommodation. Now, stigmatism, that can happen. Improper focusing. Uh, corrected with the astigmatic lens. A hyperopia, meaning farsightedness, corrected with a biconvex lens. And the myopia, where you have nearsightedness, corrected with a biconcave lens. So that's how you would fix each of these refractions. A cataract, uh, that's clouding of the eyes. A chalazion, a small hard cystic mass on the eyelid. Um, formed as a result of chronic inflammation of sebaceous gland along margin of the eye. Diabetic retinopathy, retinal defects, effects caused by diabetes mellitus, 
uh, microaneurysms, hemorrhages, dilation of retinal veins, neovascularization. Glaucoma, now increased intraocular pressure, damages the retina uh, and optic nerve. Um, so the treatment of choice is usually drops to uh, decrease the pressure. Aqueous humor formed here. Okay. So you got the aqueous humor and this pressure should get less. The angle, uh, you could have a uh, pretty tight angle here. Here's the iris, the pupil, anterior chamber, uh, the cornea. Hordeal is a sty. You guys have heard of styes. Uh, staph infection of the sebaceous gland in the eyelid. Uh, macular degeneration, progressive damage to the macular of the retina. Uh, nystagmus, repetitive rhythmic movements of one or both eyes. And strabismus is abnormal deviation of the eye, whether you have cross eyes or a weakness, a lazy eye. Uh, retinal detachment, I told you bungee jumping is uh, notorious for that. Uh, two layers of the retina separate from each other. Um, you can get photo photopsia, which is bright flashes of light, floaters, vitreous clumps of the, the retina, uh, scleral buckle, which is a belt used to buckle the retina to the sclera, and then pneumatic retinopexy is a gas bubble is injected in the vitreous cavity to help reattach the retina and increase the pressure there. Okay, so make sure you know these abnormal conditions and then of course the prefixes and suffixes are the main things we want to focus on.